Welcome to this Arts Center Library tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your library account. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to lib.artcenter.edu. Once you're on our homepage, you're going to go to My Account in the upper right, and you're going to log in using your Inside Arts Center username and password. Once you are logged in, you will be taken to your patron record. From here, you can modify your PIN, you can modify email, you can also search the catalog. If you decide to search the catalog from here, be aware that it will only search for physical items we have in the library. So let's say you want to do a search. You can enter your keywords in the box. In this case, it's instant photography. We're going to hit submit. And then it will show you a list of items based on your keyword search. If you wanted to save the search, you would go up to Save as Preferred Search, click on that, and it will save the list for you. Now I'm going to show you where you can find that Save as Preferred Search list. We're going to close this out and we're going to return back to our patron record. Then you're going to select preferred searches and this will take you to the list of preferred searches that you have saved in the past. So you see here there's instant photography. Now if you want to select that you click on search and then it'll bring up the list of instant photography titles that you had found earlier. I think this is a great function and I encourage for you to use it whenever you can. So let's return back to our patron record. You can do so by clicking on patron record in the upper right. Once you have returned to your patron record, you can also visit the online resources by clicking on the link. Now there are a couple more things you can do from your patron record. You can look at your request holds. Simply click on the request holds and this will bring the list of titles that you have requested. You can sort your holds by request date. You can sort them by status. You can cancel all or you can cancel selected titles. You will also see the titles of the items that you placed on hold, the status, whether they're available or checked out, the pickup location, whether it be at South Campus or Hillside, and also if you enter the cancel by date, you will see that date at the far right. You can also view your unpaid fines and bills by clicking on the link here. And if you had any fines, it would show up here. Now, you can pay for them in person at the library or over the phone. And unfortunately, we don't have an online service payment option, so you won't be able to do that at this time. If you wanted to see the due dates of your books, you can click on Items Currently Checked Out, and this will bring you to the record of all the items you have checked out at the moment. Once you select that, you can see the titles you have currently checked out. You can also sort them by the due date or by the checkout date. You can also renew all. Or you can renew selected by clicking on the boxes on the left and then select renew and then it'll ask you if you want to proceed and you can say yes. Next, it'll let you know if your items are successfully renewed. In this case, they weren't and that's because the due date is still far off and so you don't have to renew them at this time. The other reason your renewal might not be successful could be because you've already renewed it too many times or somebody else is in need of the item. And finally, what you can do is you can look at your reading history. From here, you can see what you have currently checked out or have checked out in the past, and then you can select those items to go back to see if they're available and recheck them out again. The reading list will be organized from the oldest to the newest. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions about your account or any of our library resources, you can email us at library at artcenter.edu or you can chat with us on the lower left in the chat window. Thank you.